In the previous video, we looked at how to download your LiDAR data. Um, we downloaded um, the one meter resolution um, data. But what can sometimes happen is that you download the highest resolution available, as we did, and you discover that your area of interest actually crosses over an area where you have that data and where you don't. Um, so in this video, we're going to look at how you can mosaic together um, rasters of different resolutions and maintain the higher resolution where you have it, but where you don't, you can use a lower resolution. So what I've done is to just go through the exact same process as in the previous video, but I've then downloaded the two meter DTM as well. So it actually covers all the area that the one meter covers. Um, but it's got a little bit um, more down here as well, and that covers the area that we're interested in. So we can use um, exactly the same um, tool as we used to mosaic the different tiles together. So if you search in YouTube processing for mosaic to new raster, now we'll put in our one meter and our two meter. We will save it in our geo database. Um, and we'll just call it two meter, one meter merged. Our spatial reference is our British national grid. Um, again, pixel type, we need to make sure that we've chosen um, one that supports decimals, so I'm going to go 64 bit. Um, here our cell size. So we know that the cell size for our one meter DTM is one and our two meter DTM is two. Now, what we want to do is to make sure that we maintain um, the detail in our one meter of data where it's available. Um, so we need to put cell size one in there. Um, the area where it's a two meter resolution, the data won't change, it's just that the number of cells will increase. So it matches um, our area where we have the one meter DTM. Uh, for LiDAR, we only have one band, so put one in there. The mosaic operator, this is where it chooses which raster um, has the priority. So where there's an overlap, for this whole area, we've got um, the one meter sitting on top of the two meter. Um, where there's an overlap, we want to be able to choose which raster we want to use. Um, so we want to use our one meter resolution where we have it, and we only want the two meter resolution um, where we don't have it. Um, in our list at the top, the one meter is first, and the two meter is second, so we want to change the to the first. So that means as a priority, our one meter DTM will be used. In the environments, we also want to change the extent to um, the union of inputs. So we want to make sure that wherever we have any data, we want an output. We don't just want an output where um, these two data sets cross over. So if we choose union here, we also need to change the resampling method. So as default, um, it just chooses the um, nearest neighbor. Um, however, that's only really suitable for um, discrete data, whereas ours is um, continuous. So the bilinear resampling method is um, more suitable for this type of data. We just change it in the pyramid type as well. And then you can go ahead and run that tool. All right, so we've got our output. Just change this symbology.
so we can see that the output DTM covers the two areas that were shown in the, the two meter resolution and in the one meter. And then if we go into the properties of that raster, there's source and raster information, um, you can see that the cell size is one. So we've maintained the um, one meter cell size um, in our output raster. Okay, thank you very much.